What's up y'all? Today I'm going to show y'all how to use the camera raw filter. It's a great uh, tool to edit your images in Photoshop. Just go to filter and then go to camera raw filter and it opens your image up with all these lighting effects. Just start to go through them and play around with the image and see the direction it goes. Uh, I focus on you know making darks darker or or saturating taking a, a blue sky and saturating it. So that's a pretty nice improvement. Here's another example. This image starts out flat and dull. And as I change these settings, I start to see what is good about the image. Uh -huh. And in this one particular, the cloud in the background is worth spending attention and focus on. So most of these changes um, are good to kind of be subtle. Typically you wouldn't have an effect all the way on one side or the other. But sometimes you have a very bright sky or you have a beam of light. And in that case, your highlights and whites you may want to put all the way down. This is a picture of me and um, I turned up the temperature first off to create a false sense of healthy skin. Now I'm just focusing on making sure there's consistency in the lighting on the skin tones. So one of the filters I effects I use the least is the clarity. It can quickly um, change your image uh, and not, you know, the best way. But sometimes it's a very necessary effect to improve your image. So on this one, I'm taking out the background by using the selection tool. And if you select too much, you can simply hold down Alt key and minus your selection. You can also change the size of the selection tool depending on the area you're selecting. Once you have what you want selected, it's good to refine the edge so that it's not jagged and have a copy and paste effect. effect. So go to refine edge and then you can feather the edge. Um, I press delete to remove the background and then I deselected my selection and you can see how there's a smooth edge and now I'm adding a new layer. I'm going to put a solid color in the background. Um, it's fun to kind of just mess around with the colors and you know, darker can be good, lighter can be good. I think I ended up on, I end up on a burnt orange here. And This is an image of a tree that fell in a creek and the sky in the background is very light. So I'm going to see how I can improve the lighting in the image. Um, and I, I kind of maintain a focus on improving the main focus, which is the tree and then also paying attention to the background and the sky. 
So, I finished this one, and the sky is still pretty white. So, I'm going to open it up again in the camera raw filter and turn down the highlights and the whites. And that brings down, you know, that level of brightness of the sky that it's just a little too light. So there you go, that was four images. Um, pretty big improvements and quickly. I hope you learned something. And the camera raw filter is definitely one of my favorite tools in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.